Hey, what's going on? I'm out here. I'm about to start cleaning the fish that I caught yesterday. Ended up with 20 total. I cooked two of them yesterday down on the river. So I got 18 to clean. And I picked up this Bubba electric fillet knife. Cordless. It's their, I guess it's, the, well, it says Pro Series. It's got the brushless motor, comes with four blades. Definitely packaged nice. Says it's a waterproof case. I mean, it's heavy duty. It's got rubbers on the bottom of it to keep it from sliding around. It really feels waterproof. I charged the batteries up. So they're ready to go. See how well it does these uh, 18 fish here. I'm probably gonna use Probably the skinny nine inch blade. They have a seven inch, a nine, a 12, the thicker ones. Fill this big old fish down. It's got a safety on it. This is nice, this is all metal. Metal here, it's a little bit heavy. I mean, I've used, I had, this is the first cordless one that I've used. I've used the Mr. Twisters, both freshwater and saltwater, corded. Uh, I've used the Rapella, 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 corded. See through it.
only bad thing about cutting the ribs out is, I mean, you, you lose a, a little bit of meat, not too much, but my wife and kids, and I just don't like to have to have them full of bones. Try to get as much meat off the ribs as I can by coming down here at an angle. Rinse them off, throw them in the strainer. I'll let them dry quite a little bit. Maybe pat them off with a uh, with a paper towel, and then I vacuum seal them. This is the first year that I'm vacuum sealing, so I normally just fill up a Ziploc with water and freeze it. But uh, I'm trying to vacuum seal and see how that goes. It takes a lot less room in the uh, in the freezer. All right, I just got finished up. I'm about to take this bucket of fish heads, dump it back there somewhere for the buzzards. All in all, I mean, I seem to like it. I'm gonna have to get used to those thinner blades. Next time I may not even use the thinner blades. I may use the thicker blades. I've never really had a problem with getting in there and having it turn to go down the backbone. Uh, I mean, that's really what the thinner blades are made for to get in there and making those sharp turns. But if you're going along that backbone and you just tilt it down just a little bit, it has no problem going right through that backbone. And then you have a mess on your hands. But no cords, you ain't got to fool with the cords. I didn't tell you the price of it, which you probably already know. They're around 150 bucks on Amazon. You can get the cheaper one for I think it's around 110 bucks, but I figured, you know, a few extra bucks, get the, the professional series, and it comes with a few extra blades, and all in all, I like it. I mean, the time will tell on it. I'll take it down to the river and, you know, do some catch, clean, and cooks with it, and try it out on different fish, bigger fish. Other than that, I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, I picked it up, I figured, I make a video out of it and uh but that's all i got for you guys now i hope everybody had a great holiday you guys take care i'll see you next time